There are so many ways to live this life we have, and I find it fascinating to experience them myself. Opening your mind to all different possibilities helps you understand people. Home is more than just a building. People go through great lengths to achieve their home, and sometimes they end up changing their minds and pursue something entirely different. That's okay. It's all a part of the adventure. In my pursuit right now, I want to learn about having a little something of my own. It's very inspiring to see people doing just that, like my sister and her little tiny house wagon. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a tour of my sister's project, experimental project, of converting a wagon into a tiny gypsy caravan type of home. She built this in a month. It is not finished at all, but she is leaving soon, so I wanted to get what I could of the inside and show you the different ways that you can make a home pretty much anywhere. Everything that she used is basically free items. Some things will need changed eventually, but for right now, you don't need to comment any, oh, that's this or that. This is for fun, and I think it's really cute, and I want to share it to you. I'm gonna also insert some clips of her working on it that she took, and she also has a YouTube channel, so if you go below, you can find her YouTube channel. <laughs> like the Mad Max cyberpunk style. My sister is more like the nature gypsy type of style, but we both like to build, we both like little homes, and we both live a very nomadic slash different type of lifestyle. This is my sister Tansy. I have her YouTube right here or down below. So she started this in the fall, but she stopped working on it because she has other things that she needs to do. So it's kind of like a hobby project or something. Yeah, just something to do. <laughs> so how much do you spend on the actual wagon? The bear base. The wagon I bought, it was 650 with delivery. So she bought it for 650 and she sold the seat, like the carriage seat, the top part of it, for 200 and something. Then the materials, tell us about that. Most of it came from an old corn crib, which is, I guess, kind of like a barn storage shed that had fallen down. It was my grandpa's and they were going to just throw all the wood away. So I got what I could before they did. And it was like really old wood that actually a lot of it used to belong to a house that had fallen down whenever they were growing up. Uh, I ran out of that and then so I just got some cheap seconds pine for like, I think I spent only 80 overall on the pine wood. So for material, you'd say you spent $80? Maybe 80 or 100 for wood. This was probably like, I think these were 60 overall, the plastic. And this I got, these were army tents I got for $5 at a thrift store. Oh. And this was left over from my bell tent making. So. This is just very resourceful. I didn't even actually know this. Yeah, I had to sew all that together. There's like, well, screws. I had to buy some screws. With the wagon and materials, she spent like $700. So usually around here, if you were to buy a wagon, it'd probably be an Amish wagon. This one might have been, but it was painted um, yellow and the seat was brown. So I think it was actually just a vintage. All I know is that it belonged to an old lady who had passed away recently and she used to ride it around. So it was probably at least vintage. Could be older, I don't know. But the buggy base isn't really meant for so much weight, so I don't know how long it would last if you're really moving around. I don't know how she like figures out how to build random stuff like this. I just... She also, you also made, you have the plans as well, right? That, yeah, that I mean. I didn't realize, but like, <laughs> when I went in there, when I keep going in there, I'm getting really seasick. <laughs> because it, it the sh bu Buggies have very big springy shocks. Yeah. Because they're like, they would have been like your main vehicle. So it moves around and it feels like you're, it actually feels like it's you're in a very, boat. very, very whimsical. Yeah, like look. <laughs> so I thought it was going to tip over, um, but yeah, I'm getting seasick. And I, I didn't get seasick in a boat. Before we go into here, I think I need to be in more gypsy wear, like my sister. So I'm going to, to change into some gypsy wear. <laughs> Alright, let's tour. <laughs> this is really hard to get down. So, firstly, she's gonna have more of a step situation here, so it's not so hard to get in. Oh. Oh, my foot keeps getting stuck because my boot is so I big. Sorry. <laughs> the wind carried it further. <laughs> we kind of furnished this a little bit just to give an idea of what she wanted it to look like a little bit. The bed's not put in. Like nothing's put in. This is the 
shell. The, the yeah, it's just the shell. But we put stuff in here just to show you guys what it could look like. The fireplace. Um, the chimney would have to actually... Well, you tell them. It could either go up through the ceiling or out a hole in the wall. Yeah, so it, there's no chimney on it right now. Mm. Maybe people will wonder how you can have such a big fire thing in here without it catching the whole thing on fire. Or I wondered that. Don't let it touch the walls. And you, I'm going to have a reflector thing there. People who live in these types of things or build these types of things, do they have wood stoves like this? Yeah, like gypsies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and shepherd's wagons as well. That's how they heat it. And what is a shepherd wagon? Shepherd's wagon is the United States version. They would have used them out in the West. The shepherds lived in them, and they'd only move them now and then maybe. Or maybe they just move them out there and leave them there to mind the sheep. If you look over here, you can see sheep's wool. Which I made. Which she made. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be like a mat. It was just some extra kind of not really nice wool I had. And it's pretty thick. All right, she's going to come in. I'm going to show you kind of how it wiggles. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but come on in. I'll do extra wiggle. Well, actually, that was Yeah. Oh. <gasps> this isn't something you would actually, like, live in, live in. It's more of, like, you would li kind of live outside. Yeah. And then have your amenities in here. You're like, sitting down most of the time when you're in here. Yeah, you're not going to be having parties or doing your stretches. You could do your stretches. You could do your stretches, but you, you don't want to wiggle it around too much. Yeah. So let's let's see your grand plan here. Like from the start where I started it or yeah. what's where it's going. So I just uh, took all the dimensions and wrote them out just so I could get in my head and get to know the wagon. Okay. Um, oh wait here. Just put this oh, goodness. <laughs> and then I want I was trying to decide which shape I wanted. Now a typical shepherd shepherd's wagon is more like this. It's just like up straight out and then and then just half circle. I end up with this one which is like cross between a gypsy like a circus like uh, wagon and a uh, shepherd's wagon here's the actual like to scale measurements very rough but gave me everything i needed to know and then from the side view which might be hard to see and then just for the outside i was playing around with what i wanted to look like i was thinking of going with kind of an art nouveau -y style and i think that's the one i'm gonna land on <sighs> well okay. i feel like building things like this you have to have precision in the wood and everything and like I don't, it's just a whole form it wasn't concept. very different for me because i do a lot of sewing and yeah. it's actually quite similar it's so much easier to not worry about making mistakes and stuff if you're not using like high cost materials there'd be a slide out table this is like the basic setup of a gypsy wagon mm. kind of so you have okay so you have over here we mimicked a bed this is just a couple sticks and wool on top but it's not an actual bed but she's planning on having the bed there and then you have a window, and then you have the dining table here. Should you're build writing a and tea. Yeah, you have the kitchen here. You put your kitchen stuff over there. The the like bathroom or like where you do your morning stuff with the mirror and stuff would be over here, mm -hmm. and that's very typical for a shepherd's wagon. Yeah. I don't know. So she is uh, about five foot six or something like that. Yeah. And look how much space. So I would say that a six foot five person could stand up in here. You think? And I can swim yeah. Around, so it's very tall. I really there's there's flailing room. Up. Yeah, glamping actually this would be a cool Airbnb idea. It's 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 an upgrade from a bell tent in some ways. It's off yeah, the ground, solid. number one. Yeah. So if you have a horse, you'd put the food in the back. I was thinking of having a bay window that kind of sticks out so you can like see lanterns hanging in the front. When Here. I told you guys I was thinking about getting land, it would be with my two sisters. This sister and then my other sister, Lark. So if we do get land, we'll be building on that land. I mean, it'll be very funny. It'll be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, you should just slap a solar panel on it. Call it a home. It's, I have never built anything in my life. My other sister actually, it, her job is like a she's construction. She's a builder. She can build. She's converted a, a van. She's converted an ambulance van into a tiny home. My right. goal is to make it to build a tiny home or buy one and modify it. That's for down the road once I get my truck, which the link is below if you do want to help with that endeavor. You don't have to. I'm not asking for that. This is the new life.